Good afternoon everybody and a very warm welcome to Milton Hall and Districts and today it's about the gas man and the refurbishment of Milton Hall TMD. Now I can't do a huge amount because I'm still having problems with my shoulder however um, I don't actually have a much of a choice because the gas man is coming on Wednesday and he wants to have a look at my hatches which are up on the roof there i don't know if you can see them but there's one just up there and in order for him to get, have a look i'm going to have to move the layout forward thankfully um, the layout is on wheels so basically the layout that's here is going to go over on the other side so he can have a look at the hatches and then i can wheel the whole lot back so that's the bit. So at this time of year, every year, um, when they know that the gas man has come in um, to do the servicing and look at the hatches, it's always the time of year which gives me a chance to have a look at parts of the layout that I can't normally access, which is generally the back end of the layout. And I've been thinking about refurbishing the TMD wall, which is this wall directly behind me. And I'm just going to give you a quick overview of my plans uh, for the future, that is, because, um, like I said, I can only do so much at the moment. And so any sort of light projects I can do, I can do, which is good, but I can't do anything major. So um, unfortunately, I'm going, to, I'm going to have to move this because I haven't got much of a choice. But like I said, it is on wheels, so it shouldn't be too bad. Um, it always happens at this time of year and I've got the letter through so they're going to come and do it. So let me spin you around and I'll explain to you um, what I've been doing to prepare for it. So as you can see, and there is my boiler over there and they need to get to the two hatches. One that's there and there's another one just over there and they're directly above the layout. So this whole layout has to move towards me, which like I said, I already knew this when I moved in, so that's why the layout is on wheels. However, as you can see, I've pretty much evacuated most of it. Um, like I said, the, the containers can stay because that's not a big deal. If they fall over, it's more about the people, the vehicles. And as you can see, um, the town scene is kind of like a ghost town. And any vehicles that was along here and along the back there have all gone. Um, because... Basically, they have to be moved. So I just want to make sure that they're stored away safely to make sure that they're not going to get damaged. Um, there was a school of thought on my part that I was thinking that for future years with the gas man coming over was to actually possibly make this as in the back bedroom where I just have a whole curved unit and bring it in to the back wall and then spin it back round. So I was actually contemplating demolishing this at some point in the future and rearranging it, obviously still keeping the container terminal. But I've now decided against that. Um, I've put a lot of time and effort and um, money into this, so I'm just going to just leave it as it is. But that being said, I am going to be tweaking it. So I'm just going to show you what my plans are for the future. So firstly, one of the things you can sort of see also is that the permit that was running around here has gone. Um, that is basically up there now. If I just sort of take you out a bit, you can sort of see. Um, I've screwed it to the top there. And that's going to live there now. It's got lighting on it and I've changed the position of the lighting so it faces downwards. And um, so that will direct light down into the layout itself. Um, if you can hear a dog barking, forgive me, it's my neighbour's dog downstairs. So I guess we'll start at this end in terms of what I'm going to be changing. Um, through running the layout in this configuration so far, um, it has highlighted one or two issues um, because all the points, there's one there, two and three there. Um, they're not motorised 
and I had the bridge sort of hanging over here and then trying to reach over and was causing some issues so I'm going to be bringing the points back but the thing is um, I'm also going to be getting modifying the TMD and as you can see I've already made a start on this already um, because I, I've obviously I've evacuated certain things and removed certain things in preparation for the gas man um, but I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing now this bit in the middle is removable and all it is is just plug and play this this board here in the middle so this bit right up to the TMD that board there between there and there is removable it's just lift up it's just got dowels in to lock it into place and it's got plugs underneath as you can probably see and all I have to do is just unplug it and lift it and then that releases the main layout to then go that way but I had to take the pelmet off because um, the pelmet was obviously part of it and I to be honest with you that was another issue for taking it off was the fact that I was actually knocking my head trying to reach over so I've decided that I'm not going to get rid of it but I am going to leave it up there and it is going to sort of direct light all the way across here so it is going to be saved and used and it's going to have a purpose as well so that's good I'm really pleased with that so the changes are going to sort of start from down this end and just so you get your bearings that's Cheston Road station on the corner there this is an uplighter but basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some some points here cross over and then cross over and where that freight liner building is is where it's going to go I'm going to shove it back there and basically the points are going to go into the TMD from this side now because another issue that I was having which I'm going to eliminate now is that this link here this little sh little short stretch of track here crosses over the, the main layout and onto the board at the back which means that in order to take this board out which is easy enough that just like I said plug and play lift up but it's still linked by this single piece of track between this board and that board so what I want to do is eliminate that stretch of track altogether and actually connect it down at this point because at this this bit here as you can see there's a line there that is sort of borderline so from there back that stays so that's permanent so if I can get a point across there and onto the back across here from this end it won't have to touch this bit which is removable so then that way I won't need that link anymore so next year when the gas man comes I can lift this I don't have to do anything with this backboard this has to this can stay because that won't be that won't have the link anymore because it will be joined by the other end so that's one of the improvements that I'm going to be doing and then like I said the freight liner TMD that was here which is over there now um, I always felt it was a bit too close to the running line so I want to get it right in the corner there's going to be a point there and then you can enter the TMD this way and then the other thing I want to do is I haven't tested this yet so I'm going to run some trains over the next couple well today and tomorrow um, before the gas man comes on Wednesday because then that's when I've got to start to do some work if I'm going to do anything because the layout's going to be in its position um, is to basically um, put another industry along this back stretch here and I'm going to run my car train I think it's going to be my car train so I'm either toying with a car train or Mildenhall Docks station along this back stretch here um, but what I'm considering doing is renaming Mildenhall station to Mildenhall Docks and there'll be a new Mildenhall station recited so that might possibly be an option so what I wanted to do is like I said just run a couple of trains the container train and the um, car train along here to see to check the length and see whether what I'm thinking in my mind is actually going to be feasibly able to work here because this back wall then will become a loading unloading area 
And what could happen is that a 66 with the car train could come along here and basically all the way to the end and then basically come out and run around the train and then back it in and then offload it and then the 66 will be facing the right way around to go out. That is possibly my idea at the moment. And also, I'm going to get rid of this bridge. This bridge is gone. Um, I've still got it, but it's going to be gone because, again, I think it was obscure in the view. And I've also got a way out through my current um, level kind of crossing at the back there. So there is a way out through there. So I don't necessarily need the bridge. So I can use the lorry to then sort of go out and back out across the line. So that's so I don't need the bridge. So I think the bridge is going to go and that will open up this area here. So as you can see, I'm really sort of thinking about what I'm going to do, what I'm not going to do. And um, so, and the other thing I need to do, and I'm going to do, is I'm going to revamp Milden Hall Train Care Depot. Um, as you can see, this is it here. And I'm going to revamp it. Now, whether or not I revamp it and it gets extended, I'm not sure. But... I haven't decided on that yet, but let me just check, show you what, why I have to sort of um, do some work to this. Um, it's been here for about, probably about two and a half years now. And this is um, a rather, it's looking a bit shabby at the moment. Um, it was clad in paper. And um, because the Freightliner Depot that I've done is now in plastic card and it looks a lot nicer, I think I could do a lot better with this and basically plastic card this over the, on top of this and basically look a lot more realistic and tidy and give it a revamp and possibly extend it. Um, the problem is, is that the exit is on this end because this is where it used to, trains used to come in, but I blocked it off at the other end. But the other end, because you didn't see it, was blue. I left it in its original card and the same as this side. So I never did anything with this because you were never going to see it. But now because I'm thinking of putting it the other way around, um, I have to sort of, in order to leave the blue on this side, up against the wall so I don't have to touch it, I will have to do some work and open up this end. So, and then depending on how things go, I might, like I said, I might extend it or not. But this is going to be quite a fun little job because this isn't a very difficult job. It's, it's quite easy. It's quite light. It's something that I can do whilst I'm watching TV, just sort of just cutting up plastic card and just... It shouldn't be ta even take that long to do, to be honest. So, and there's also a few little patches here, which I sort of did, which I didn't really like, but it served the purpose well for the two and a half years it's been here. And the inside is still good. There's no real damage or anything like that to it on the inside. Um, so it's still good and it's still sturdy. So the chances are that this is just gonna get, at the, at the bare, bare minimum, it's just gonna get clad and upgraded whether or not it gets extended out i'll have to it depends on the track plan so i'm not sure yet so this concludes the end of today's video um i'd like to thank everybody who commented on my um sort of running session with my network rail class 31 that i did yesterday because that seems to have gone down pretty well um, a lot of people have said some a lot of complimentary things about it um, so I'm really pleased that people um, like what I'm doing with the railway and with the layout um, so these future plans um, are all kind of dependent really I'm hoping to get them done you know in a not too distant future some of these jobs are quite light like just clad in the TMD that shouldn't take too long and that isn't going to be too difficult to do but other jobs which might be, you know i can't do anything too too strenuous at all so you know i'm going to move the layout because i have to but i don't particularly really not really looking forward to it because it's never a job i look forward to at the best of times but it will get moved because it is on wheels so it shouldn't be too bad and then the layout should be out of commission for a little bit a few days or something like that and then afterwards i can put it back so until the next time, it's goodbye from Milden Hall and Volma and um, or Milden Hall and Districts, I should say. And um, thanks for joining me. And until the next time, it's bye for now. Bye bye.